Holy shit, yeah, they aren't the tag team. Sorry. Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm back again for another video for you guys today. And today, as you saw by the title, I'm going to be bringing you guys my WWE Royal Rumble 2018. Yes, it sounds weird to say 2018. Pay-per-view predictions video. Now, if you guys didn't know, I am going to the Royal Rumble. If you guys didn't watch my epic WWE Christmas video, I got tickets for the Royal Rumble. That's coming up this Sunday. So I'm going to be there. If any of you guys are going to be there, then definitely hit me up. Let me know. You can contact me on all social media. Royal Rumble season is always a fun time. WrestleMania season right around the corner is always a special, special time. And of course, at this pay-per-view we're making history with the first ever 30 woman royal rumble so anyways guys let me stop talking about that we'll get more in depth with it and let's do it all right so the first match we got up is for the wwe smackdown tag team championship match a two out of three falls match the champions the usos going up against chad gable and shelton benjamin chad gable and shelton benjamin uh you know how they turned heel is pretty cool um i still feel like they would be better separately but you know you're gonna have to deal with it as for the winner i'm gonna go with the usos i just think that the usos are just too damn good and go on to wrestlemania still your tag team champions okay so now moving to the next match we'll stay in the tag team division we got sheamus and cesaro going up against the raw tag team champions jason jordan and seth Rollins. and i gotta be honest with you i don't like this you know storyline with the whole jason jordan thing i just think jason jordan flat out sucks i'm really just hoping that dean ambrose comes back during this match hopefully uh I, I don't really know what the rumors are going on about that seth rollins and dean ambrose can go into a little feud maybe a heel dean ambrose would be really cool and then jason jordan can you know just fade off you know somewhere else or you know do whatever i'm actually gonna go with sheamus and cesaro to defeat um seth rollins and jason jordan okay so now we move on to the women's royal rumble match but you see we have nia Jax, who's Pretty much the odds on favor just because Nia Jax is, you know, so amazing. Um, you got Sasha Banks, you got Bailey's in there, Asuka, um, Natalia, just a lot of other uh, divas that I don't have the figures of. I also, um, Becky Lynch is in there. I don't know where the hell I put her figure, but I definitely had her figure and I don't know where that is. But Becky Lynch is in there. I think Becky Lynch is actually going to win this one. I feel like Becky Lynch, ever since she came back, has just been on a complete tear, complete roll. And also, I could see Asuka. I would say Asuka would probably be my second favorite to win. Um, Asuka would be really cool to win and go up against Alexa Bliss at WrestleMania. As for any surprise entrance or returns, I could see Nikki Bella getting in there. And then also the big one, I could see Ronda Rousey getting in there. I think she'll debut into the Royal Rumble match. I think that would be really cool. Maybe a stare off with Stephanie McMahon or something like that. Anyways, I'm going to go with Becky Lynch to win the Women's Royal Rumble match and headline WrestleMania. All right, now, so we move on to the main three matches of the night. At least in my opinion, we got the Universal Championship Triple Threat match. We got Brock Lesnar going in as champion, taking on Kane and the Monster Among Men. Boron. So for this match, it hasn't been built up poorly, I wouldn't say, but they've kind of done like the same thing where, you know, every week they just pretty much have a brawl between each other. So it's, you know, eh, it's, it's all right, but uh, it, they could have done a little better. But, you know, on the Braun Strowman side, he's just been amazing in this feud, uh, you know, and it's just, just his run in WWE and he deserves... He so deserves to win the Universal Championship right here. I don't care what you say. You cannot tell me that Brock Lesnar has been a better champion than Braun Strowman. You just cannot tell me. He's just been so absolutely fan freaking tastic. Um, I'm not really sure what Kane's doing in here, but uh, you know, it's cool to see that Kane's you know getting the last run or whatever. I don't see him winning the title or anything. Uh, he's probably just there to eat the pin. Uh, but you know, Braun Strowman, man, like, how do you not put the title on this guy? Like, how do you think that? is selling more than that I, I just really don't get it as for the winner i do see brock lesnar uh beating both these guys uh you know it kind of sucks to say because it's just a waste of a match at wrestlemania so now moving on to the second world title match of the night we have aj styles going in as wwe champion taking on Sami Zayn and kevin owens in a two-on-one handicap match you know i feel like this has been built up really well uh especially with shane and daniel bryan added into the mix so it's just gonna be like really interesting to see how everything plays out not only in this match but also the royal rumble match to see like who might win that you know to face aj styles or you know if like they lose and then one of them goes on and wins the royal rumble it's just gonna be really uh you know unique and cool to see but i'm gonna go with aj styles to retain the wwe title i just feel like he's you know the right choice for the wwe championship he's just the man i love aj styles he's probably one of my favorites in the company he is my favorite in the company i would say uh so just keep the title on aj and see where it goes uh see you know just keep a lot of intrigue and interest into the royal rumble match and see what happens so yeah, I'm going to go with AJ Styles to defeat Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at the Rumble. Alrighty guys, so it took me a little while just to get this set up uh, how I wanted it. Let me just give you a little uh, brief overview so you guys can get a little shot of that. We got over here we have uh, Apollo Crews and Ty Dillinger. Roman Reigns and Shinsuke, I just put them in the front because uh, obvious reasons. 
uh, Baron Corbin trying to eliminate Finn Balor. We got the New Day right there celebrating. We got Randy Orton giving an RKO to Rusev Day. We got um, Jinder Mahal and The Miz going at it. We got Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman to stare down. And then, ooh, who's that over there? Who is that? As for the winner, I do, I'll boil it down to, you know, a couple people who I would like to see. So first off, I have Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura is the perfect choice, especially if AJ Styles does win the WWE title. I just think it would be, you know, absolutely perfect. A dream match at WrestleMania 34 for the WWE title doesn't get any bigger than that. I wouldn't want to see Roman Reigns win. I just put him there just because I think uh, he has a good possibility of winning it just because he lost the IC title. So... I, if he won it, I would just, you know, be so freaking disappointed. In the corner that you saw, I do have Daniel Bryan in it. I think Daniel Bryan could make a return in the ring. Uh, and, you know, coming at number 30 or whatever, I think that place would explode. If Daniel Bryan won and, you know, main event at WrestleMania, you know, for the WWE title against a guy like AJ Styles, that would just be so freaking sick. I had Braun Strowman over there. I could see maybe Braun Strowman winning it, going after Brock Lesnar once again for the title and then finally having the big payoff. And then for, like, the surprise entrance or debuts, um, there's, there's a couple of guys guys that I would like to see from NXT. There's actually one guy from NXT that I would love to see enter and actually win it, and that would be Aleister Black. Aleister Black, I think, you know, if he just, that would be such a badass debut if he went into the Royal Rumble and then won it. You know, Aleister Black's such a badass character, such a badass dude, and then he went on to face a guy like Brock Lesnar and then actually beat him at WrestleMania. Dude, that would just be, like, the greatest thing ever. I, I love Aleister Black. I love what he's doing in NXT, and if he just came up onto the main roster and, like, just destroyed everyone in the Royal Rumble, that would just be so fantastic. I heard rumors about Bobby Lashley possibly returning because I know that he didn't have any uh, wrestling dates for that day of the Royal Rumble, so maybe Bobby Lashley returning would be pretty cool. I also forgot to mention a guy like Seth Rollins. He would honestly be my dark horse pick to win. I just feel like if Seth Rollins won, got himself over to SmackDown Live and face AJ Styles, get him away from Raw, I feel like if they got a guy like Seth Rollins on SmackDown, I think that would do wonders for SmackDown. No disrespect to AJ Styles, I just think that they need another big name over there. Uh, you know, to kind of help him out, and you know, because AJ Styles can't carry the load himself, I feel like they need another huge name on uh, SmackDown Live, so I think if Seth Rollins did win and went over to face AJ Styles, I think that would be such a dream match, because that is a dream match, but yeah, besides that, I think that's about it, it's always a fun time, the Royal Rumble season, and like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys do see me there, definitely stop on by, so yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed my predictions, if you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, tell me your guys' predictions for this Sunday's Royal Rumble pay-per-view, should be a good one, and always subscribe if you new to the channel remember to follow me on all social media the links will be down in the description box below so definitely go check that out and then i'll see you guys in the next video take care everyone peace